out of respect for those who do not want to be spoiled, please do not discuss anything relating to the data mining of the demo in the comments section. Thank you. Let us return to the Sun and Moon demo, I guess. And see what we have in store for us this time. Previously, we completely overkilled Plumeria's Golbat. And completed the trial. Oh, ride Pokemon! Okay. The ride pager. Let's hope this replaces HMs. Yes! So we have access to a riding Taurus. Yeah, well, obviously there are a bunch of rocks there. Oh, automatic save. And we have access to the video stuff. Okay, having to press A to go into the Pokemon to the door, though, that was not in any previous game in the series. Alright, we can send stuff to the full version. Okay. Does look like the Ash Greninja is nature locked. <laughs> I like this Pokemon Center remix, though. It's definitely one of the more unique ones. Now, I really don't know what else there is to do in the city. This building's probably still not go inable. No, it is not. What happens if we do this? Can I actually do this? Now, in the city. Well, no, there isn't the time to use that here. DESTROY EVERYTHING! DESTROY! Okay, then. Lily activated her Ride Pokemon Banishing Aura. Taurus was banished to the Shadow Realm. You? Who's you? What's that in your back? It wouldn't happen to be an Ultra Beast, would it? I thought she didn't have any Pokémon. The trailer said she didn't have any Pokémon. One of us like, Professor Kukui is helping me take care of my Pokémon, so FIVE Cyclops! Once again, we resume. DESTROY EVERYTHING IN OUR PATH! Can we talk to people while we're on Taurus? Yes, we can. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Hill Billy music. This is like the most epic bike ever. Be happy after I crash the shop to rubble. Anyway, can we go? Bash the door down. Smash all the wild Pokemon. Smash the pickup out. Oh, we're still in our in our right gear. That's actually a really nice touch. Except we can't actually use the Taurus or anything. You get to not be smashed today. Kinda wish I had repels though. Don't think we even have any money or anything. Yeah, we don't even have access to our trainer nameplate, so... No checking to see if we... Of course I would get one right on the edge of the grass. You lucky I ran from you, you foolish, pathetic Pikapek. <laughs> Sorry, just riding a giant Taurus like this just feels... <laughs> makes you feel so powerful. You not look so big now, giant Machamp! Taurus SMASH Machamp! And so that's not a good idea because it's winter fighting. Let's run away. 
Taurus, run! Taurus, not one, get hit with super effective attack. Me walk home safely on Pokemon. On big Taurus who smash everything! Sorry, this is just too much fun. Oh, police officer's down here. 18 days. Yeah, I wonder if if there are new events that happen in the demo. I don't promise to record all of those events though, just saying. And you're still ramshading the version names. Oh, I guess we can check out the outside. Tora smash, weird old man! But weird old man plot relevant NPC, so cannot smash! Taurus disappoint! Okay, interesting. Looks like there are some new trainers added as well. Guess we should go through all of the previous areas before we try and... Can I? Let me just check the mark though. No particular reason to? Can we actually get Pokeballs now? I'm just wondering. But of course there's a particular reason to. Oh, of course, the music's back new. I like this better than the hillbilly music, so I'll take this. Can Taurus go in Pokemon Center and smash it too? Okay, yeah, so there's your talking about the month. You are the shop man. And still out of stock. Okay. Guessing we don't get Pokeballs until we're specifically given them, because I know that you do get to catch Pokemon at some point in the demo. Hello! Smashing Taurus back! And suddenly, nice, gentle, relaxing, calming music. Perfect. For Taurus smash everything! Okay, you are a trainer, because I saw that. She's like, huh. That person is riding a giant Taurus. Should I be afraid? Oh well, I'll challenge him anyway. It's so cute. Okay, that means you only have one. Okay, so if this is just the regular battle theme, what's the Kahuna battle theme? Oh, wait, 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 what? You have two? You said check out my Pokemon, it's so cute, now you have two, okay then. Well, having two is better for me. Because this happens. Okay, you're at least more of a threat, that's good to know. One shuriken. Two shuriken. Three shuriken. Four shuriken! Is that gonna be enough? It was enough! Okay then! That was actually pretty lucky. I usually only get two. Greninjinka! Awaken! Actually, shouldn't it be Gekorshinka? Oh well. I should mention, I just realized something. Ash is one of the default names in Pokemon Red and Blue, so it's possible that this did not come from Anime Ash. At least I'm desperately hoping. That's gonna be one shot, isn't it? Or not, okay. But you still... I want my own Rockruff. <laughs> Everyone has these really dopey expressions when they lose. Okay, anything else around here? Taurus to smash into little pieces! So I've already beaten you. So this is kind of like something of a bike. Okay, I guess the only way forward is... DESTROY! Finally, Taurus had smashed something! Your pathetic rocks are nothing before smash Taurus. What are you? Yeah, what are you? I'm wondering. Let's see. Rising Star, okay. 
this all around. Yeah, I like how trainers are using different Pokeballs and stuff. I wonder if, like, the champion, or whatever the equivalent of a champion in this game is, is gonna use a Master Ball or something. That'd be kinda cool. Uh, there's no real reason not to shuriken everything. One shuriken! Two shuriken! And just two, of course. Oh, okay! That's actually kind of interesting. I'm liking that. You have a super effective move on me. I mean, it's not a particularly strong super effective move, but it is one. I like how the trainer keeps the right outfit. That's actually pretty awesome. Like, I think this, does, it, does this sound like a gym leader theme to anyone else? Once again, get all Shinkan. Awaken! Or should it be Satoshinka? I don't know. Okay, well that's higher level. Gonna actually have to start getting smart with some of these battles. I do have one... Super Potion. And you're gone. <laughs> yes, me and my one ridiculously overpowered Pokémon. Smash you! Smash you again! Ah, huh, there's a weird old man here. Oh, oh, that's cool. We actually do get to catch Pokemon. Limited number, okay. Ah. <laughs> By the way, once you begin this challenge, you cannot leave. So this is basically Safari Zone. Should I try and battle the girl first? I'm worried that battling her will automatically end this section of the demo though. I hope it doesn't, but anyway. Yeah, I guess we have battled the three trainers. Okay, I wonder if this is a bad idea because maybe you're expected to have caught more Pokemon before you battle her? What are you? Ace Trainer! Okay then! I thought you were a ranger. Okay then. Alright, just a Jugmao. I thought it was the middle one. At least it's not a Kamo. And you are not fighting type, so my my yeah, aerial ace is not super effective. So I will have to use my night slash. Headbard. Oh the trainer actually points, that's cool. It's actually kinda like kinda like one of the Coliseum games and my health is running a little bit low. I should probably not get too cocky here, because the levels are increasing. Satoshinka! Awaken! I keep changing the catchphrase, but oh well. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Please hit a lot of times. This could end very, very badly. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Of course it did not get one more hit. And that's not... Okay, I'm very fast. This hopefully should not do very much damage. Okay, if that was Thunderbolt, I would have been gone. And my water shurikens... Even if you use Quick Attack, it's probably going to go first, because Greninja is so fast. Okay, that almost ended very badly! That almost ended very badly. A star piece? Okay, we can... Oh, for the full version, okay. Yeah. Okay, did not automatically end the demo. And yeah, you're saying the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal. I believe I only have one though. 
myself the Zed Ring, and I have the Electrium Zed. I only restore 60, though. Oh well, it was almost enough anyway. Now let's go play the Totally Not Safari Zone, except this one's completely free! And Taurus has been banished to the Shadow Realm again. And suddenly, Professor Jaywitz is here. Thought we get a music change sooner or later. Okay, of course, he's showing how to catch Pokemon tutorial. This time it's the actual professor doing it, though. I kind of wish this Greninja had False Swipe. Can Greninja even learn False Swipe? It seems like very few Pokemon can actually learn that. Okay. Firstly, you're actually going to weaken the Pokemon, unlike that complete fail of a catching tutorial in the first generation. That almost went badly. And now you use the Pokeball. And yeah, so, of course, you didn't show off the Pokeball shortcut, which is new to this generation. <laughs> and of course, he has 50 Pokeballs. There we go. Yeah, that pick attack would not have been useful against that Pikachu, though. Catch challenge begin! Problem is Greninja is a little bit too strong, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, it's a pick a peck. A lot of people are wondering if it's possible to evolve a pick a peck in this uh, in this demo. I don't really think so. I mean, it probably wouldn't be anyway. Let's try aerial lacing. Please don't faint in one. Sh okay, that's bad. That's very bad. I failed to see how I'm expected to try and catch things here. I guess I had to try my luck catching one Pokemon and then... And, like, full health, and then use it to weaken all the others? That seems like really my only option. You're even lower level, so I'm not even going to try. I have 16 and 3 heal balls and a great ball. Okay. Should I try my Great Ball on the first one, just to get a starting point? One, two, three... There we go, okay, right. So, Great Ball first to get something to start off with, and then just use that to weaken everything else. I think that's what it'll be like. Is it even possible for me to catch six... like, not 16, like, more than 16? We can get a potential total of 20. I guess that's what you'd call the perfect one of this. Getting 20. So let's, uh, can I drag this over? Doesn't look like I can. Okay, I need to press a separate button to move Pokemon. That's a little bit awkward. Skill Link, nice! So that's gonna buff up Fury Attack to the point where it always hits the maximum amount of times, and I've got Pluck, okay. Lonely nature. Okay, let's see what else I can get. There's probably going to be a young goose here. Kind of wish that I could catch those dragons too. Oh, rock! Rah, that's not good. This could end very, very badly. I know I tend to say that a lot, but yeah, it could. Please don't have any rock moves. I mean, it's easier for me to weaken it. Okay, you're using that move, which is good. Completely useless against me because I have no evasion buffs. If 
does exactly- Oh, of course it does! <laughs> really? Wow. Okay! Okay, you can see what- how effective your moves are from the initial switch to, but... That was- that was more painful than I expected it to be. Party wants to try aerial acing, but I don't think that's gonna be good. Let me get a... you know what, let's might throw my heal ball. This is one of the few situations where heal balls are actually useful. Trapped in a small area where you can't heal, and you might need to get your new catches healed up to use against other things. There we go, okay. So hey, a heal ball actually did something for once. Doesn't look like we're gaining any experience in this area, though. Okay, let's switch this rock rough. I'm so sorry, Pick a Peck. That was that was <laughs> that was kind of painful. Keen eye, not the best ability out there. Bit hard to get a feel for these things' stats, but it looks like rock rough has decent HP. Rock throw is still 50 power. Okay, so that hasn't been buffed or anything. Okay, so so far I've got I'm two for two here, except I did lose the pick of heck. Do quite like Rock Ruff though. Uh, it's another pick of heck. Might want to save space in my party for when I actually uh, for actually new Pokemon, but uh, you know what? I may as well try and get another catch. Okay, so pick a peck is faster than Rock Ruff. I kind of already knew that from that last battle. That does about half. Maybe let's try the second heal bottle. And thus we gain Pika Peck number two, hopefully. Yeah, early game Pokemon tend to have absurdly high catch rates. So you don't really need to weaken them all that much. Oh, okay, you're gaining experience. I guess the... the... Yeah, I guess Greninja's just so strong that it doesn't really get any experience. Yeah, you just keep randomly interrupting. Okay, this is the only area we have access to. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. I wonder if you get a special reward for doing a perfect run of this, as in every single one of your Pokeballs catches something. So we have another pick a -pick. You're a bit higher level. They are always faster. Now, Rockruff is hurting quite a bit. And, well, let's just go for... I suppose... Uh, maybe I should save the last heal ball for something that I know is going to... be a new Pokemon, because I think there should be Young Goose around here somewhere. I'm guessing all these Pokemon are locked out of evolving in this demo. Oh, okay, I failed to get one of them. Well, yeah, there goes the perfect run. But you just growled me! That's actually a very good thing, because as long as I don't critical, this should hopefully not finish you. Okay, that's gonna be five times. If it's not, you got a different ability. Ow, ow, Rock Ruff is hurting, Rock Ruff is hurting. Yeah, so you obviously have skill link. Okay, yeah, there we go. That growl was helpful. Go for another Pokeball. So yeah, not quite a perfect run. And if I'm really unlucky here, this might also break out. I wonder, could they have buffed the catch rate of heal balls to actually make them worth using? That's always a possibility as well. I doubt Rock Ruff can evolve in this demo though as well. Because I mean, I mean, what would happen? Because it's supposed to have different evolutions depending whether it's in Sun or Moon, and. We're in neither here, so would Rockruff at attempting to evolve create a giant paradox? Maybe. Looks like it's mostly just Pick a Peck and Rockruff here. I say that and immediately a Young Goose appears! <laughs> I was actually thinking something like that might happen. Okay, equal level. Uh, let's go for the Pluck. Hmm. 
I could go for a catch now. Wow! That was painful. Uh, let's see if I can get that painfulness on my side, shall we? Immediate breakout! Oh, that's not good. That's equally not good. You know what? I am switching out to Greninja. Have to preserve my birds. Oh, and I have the added benefit of resisting that. And I believe I lost all my heal balls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your moves are Really? You are an early game rodent. You should not be this hard to catch. And I, all of my remaining moves are going to knock you out. So I can't weaken you any further. Oh, I wonder something. I just thought of something, actually. Okay, finally! If I could nickname you, I would name you Uncooperative. Oh, okay, the Greninja's not getting any experience, but the Pikapek is. Let's check this Young Goose. Oh, that's why Bite did so much. Strong jaw. I was wondering if it was Stakeout and it counted as the Pokemon having just switched in, but no, it was Strong jaw. Okay, that's why it was so painful. Makes sense. Okay. Let's just check the stats here. 37 speed. You have 54. Ooh, that's a big difference. 53. 47. A lot more HP, though. Pikapek has more attack, though. I have lots of Pikapeks. Okay, so Young Goose is like, uh, yeah, fairly average in terms of stats apart from HP. Pretty typical of the game Rodent, actually. I still don't know if one will ever dethrone. And I just, you can't even use the D-pad to move around on the overworld. That's interesting. Because I pretty much used the default to using the D-pad for pretty much everything. I like that little hiss it does at the end of its cry. So, this is most likely not going to end well. I know I say that all the time, but let's just try. Okay, no outspeed. It took that quite well. Okay, switching. Naturally switching out here. Okay then, uh, can I do anything that would weaken you? I don't think so, so I'm going to have to try chancing it with, with Pokeballs. Still got a lot more of these left. It's going to be a little while until this challenge is over. You're probably going to break out from this though. Yep! But like I said, I really can't afford to weaken it anymore. Anything I do is just going to destroy it. Destroy is like destroying Taurus of Doom! Come on. And of course, yep. Yeah. I would weaken it further if I could, but I really don't think I can, unless I could growl myself somehow. So I just have to keep spamming Pokeballs and hoping for the best. Doesn't help that a lot of the moves that we have access to at this point are actually disproportionately powerful. Like, Pluck is actually not a bad move in terms of power by early game standards, and Skill Linked... Oh. So I can add it to my party, or I can release it. 
I wonder if in the full game we'll be able to add things directly to our party when we catch them rather than send them to the PC. That'd be a cool new feature. I guess it's just like, okay, do you want to keep this young goose? Oh, you have stake out. Oh, it's only if they switch out, and that's not going to happen here. Eh, we may as well get rid of this one. So yeah, we have no PC, so... <laughs> well, in some ways I kind of have. Most of it anyway. I started when I was about six years old, so yeah. Another bird. And... Which Pokemon do I have that are... Everyone is... Oh, right, I should have put it in my party and replaced the fainted pick effect. That was kind of a dumb moment. Um... Yeah, let's not use Mud Slap. Oh, or it could just completely fail and use Supersonic. Okay, let's try and see if we can get this one. Oh, the fainted pick of that was the first thing I caught, though. I kind of don't want to replace it. But for efficiency's sake, I may have to. Now, I wonder what happens if you do it, though. I'll have to check now. It is going to take quite a while to level up anything here. If we add it to our party... Yeah, we can swap it out for this fainted one. And yeah, we send the fainted one back. So if you're able to do this, like on the fly, catch something on a new route, and choose to immediately add it to your party, uh, and send something you already have to the PC, that is actually a really nice new feature. Ah, uh, battery emergency, sorry, gonna have to... Okay, there we go, battery emergency solved. I was actually just thinking while I was changing the charger over, I was actually thinking, if this was expanded into like a full... a full thing, this would be kind of an interesting kind of catching minigame. Like, you get given one Pokemon, maybe a weaker one to start off with, and nothing, you can't use anything else from your party, and you basically have to catch things and, yep, sorry, bye bye young goose. You have to catch things to add to your party, see how many Pokemon you can catch with a limited supply of Pokeballs, relying purely on the things that you catch from the wild to add to your party. And maybe, like, there could be some really rare things or really risky things to go after, like, for example, like, there could be, like, a really strong Scyther that can appear with False Swipe, and it's like, it's pretty strong, but if you manage to catch it, that will really help you catch more things. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Uh-oh, that was a creep, wasn't it? Well, it left it with just enough health remaining. Yeah, sometimes you can immediately tell if you've got a critical based on... based on how quickly the health bar goes down. Now, if this doesn't catch, I'm going to get very annoyed. Okay, there we go. And I suppose there's... I can replace the fainted young goose with this. If anything, I prefer pick effects because at least they're faster, so... If I've got low HP pick effects, they can at least get a hit in before they go down. So, sorry other young goose, you're going to have to go back. Yep, swap this young goose, and yes, I'm sure. Sorry, other young goose. Okay, let's check what we've got here. Uh, yeah, very weak young goose. Nope, you are switching out. I'm going to be using my pick a pack here. I don't want to lose that rock ruff. From the looks of things, rock ruffs here are actually kind of rare, so me running into one of them earlier was kind of a surprising. I just realised that pretty much everything here is new Pokémon, which is good, because that addresses another complaint that I had about, well... The complaint that I already mentioned about X and Y. I should probably try... Maybe I shouldn't try Fury Attack. Oh, I say I shouldn't try Fury Attack, and then immediately that thing demonstrates why. But also because if Pluck did that much, a Stab 5-hit Fury Attack is probably gonna one-shot everything. Actually, wait a minute. How much is Fury Attack? It's like 15 power or something? So that's still like 75 without taking into account Stab on 5 hits, and then Pluck is like 70 or 60? I think Pluck is 60. 
Well, that's an extremely weak pick -a peck I wonder if I should even add it, but uh, like I said, I prefer pick -a pecks to Young Gooses because they're at least faster, so... Let me just check that to make sure I'm getting this right. This music's pretty good too, though. Fury attack is 15. Oh, only 85 accuracy, though. That's not good. 15, so yeah, and Plucky is 60. Okay, I was right. So that's a 60 stab and a 75 stab. So if the 60 stab did that much, 75 would almost certainly finish the job. So probably shouldn't go for Fury Attack here. And also, yeah, the fact that Fury Attack can miss as well. Although that's a fairly beefy looking young goose. Uh, maybe let's just try Fury Attack. Okay, didn't miss good. That's not doing very much. Okay, three takes it to just above half, four. Oh! Oh, this one doesn't have skill link! Dang it! <laughs> that would mean that you have, like, what, keen eye or something? Yeah! <laughs> the fail ability. Okay, so. I'm going to switch to the Greninja and put a pick a with Skill Link at the top of my party because Keen Eye is completely stupid. Because the one move here that lowers accuracy is Mud Slap and pick a is completely immune to that, so no point to Keen Eye at all. Completely pointless. This may still fail. Okay, there we go. You had a decent amount of health left over. But, I don't know. Should I keep you? I think I'm gonna send this young goose back. I know I'm not even looking at them, but, I mean, it's really... No point checking natures at this point if I won't be keeping any of these Pokemon. Well, I mean, actually, technically we will be keeping them, I just realised. Let's see. I kinda wanna keep this Rockruff. What nature does it have? I just, I like Rockruff. Miles. That's not great. Wait a second. Can you even... I don't think you can see... Like, you previously could tell at a glance what each nature increase and decrease. I think mild is plus special attack minus speed or special defense. It's either one of those two. Okay, which pick effects have skill? Literally all of them except the top one. That is great to know! Okay, let's see if we can get five more. Oh, it's another one. Of course it is. Of course it is, right! I mean, on the plus side, I can weaken this with Aerial Ace. On the minus side, I don't resist Rock Throw, and it's actually quite a powerful move, so I'm a little bit worried about this. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that was... that was fine. That was fine. It's weird, but I suddenly have the urge to play Colosseum. I don't know why. Just, just, this, just this whole thing about deliberately using not very effective moves to weaken Pokemon to catch them. Colosseum was pretty good. Don't critical, please. Oh wow, that, that first one must have been a very high damage roll if the second one only did that much. The first one almost did half. The second one did not do anywhere close to half. So... Either the second one had a very bad damage roll, or the first one had a really good damage roll. Oh no. Not great. Okay then, more rocks. Ow, Greninja is hurting quite a bit. I only have four Pokeballs left. I hope I catch at least ten by the end of this. And I definitely got at least six. And I've had a few more than that. Okay, there's another Rock Ruff. 
One thing I kind of like about this challenge is that, is that heal balls actually have a purpose. Okay, let's check what this rock rough is like. What are you? Mischievous, naughty nature. Naughty is naughty is good. I definitely know what naughty is. That's plus attack, minus special defense. But mischievous is a potential 31 special attack IV. I think I'm going to keep you. But who do I dump? Unfortunately, I think I know. I believe that pick a pick is the non-skill link pick a pick. Yeah, let's dump the non-skill link pick a pick. And begin building an army of rock roughs. Now oh, it's one of you. Uh, hmm. I'm not entirely sure about this matchup. You know what? Let's try Fury Attack again. And of course it misses! Uh, I don't want to sacrifice you for no... Although Greninja is actually kind of weak. Uh, what do I do here? Do I... I'm going to go for another Fury Attack. Okay, you hopefully do have skill links, so this is going to be five. And this ends up doing more than the last Fury attack I did. That is, that is definitely good damage for the purposes of this. Unfortunately, you just sacrificed yourself. Sorry, Pika Peck. I know I'm not sending you out, I'm sending the Greninja out. This thing is almost definitely going to get caught, but I don't want to speak too soon, otherwise I could regret it, because it will then break out and annoy me a lot. One, two, three... Really? Really? Of course I spoke too soon, and it got a critical hit, yeah, of course. Even though that critical did pretty much nothing. Well, where I'm recording, it's appropriate weather for playing this game, because it is very hot today. But there we go, we got the Young Goose. After, it should not have broken out of that first one, but it did. Uh, let's just get rid of it. I don't like you. You criticaled me after you broke out of a... From Red Health, I don't like you. Go away, please. I'm immediately going to go Greninja, aren't I? Okay, another pick a peck. I think I'm on my last Pokemon. So this is almost over. Uh, Aerial Ace, I believe, one shot at pick a peck the last time I tried, but may as well try again. That looks suspiciously like a. Okay, it didn't one shot. Okay, you know what? I am not losing Greninja here. That would be incredibly embarrassing, so I, I have, like, no Pokemon. Everyone just has incredibly small health. I hope you can tank one hit. Oh, it was a growl anyway. Okay, let's see. My last Pokeball. So once I throw this, win or lose, it's ding ding, time is up. Come on, come on. Okay, good, my last one was actually a success. Uh, I believe we have a fainted Pokemon still, so... Yeah, let's replace the fainted one. Even though this one might not have Skill Link. And that, I believe, ends it. And I can still walk around. I think I've used everything. So yeah, let's stop. Or I get out of like tw 13 out of 20. That's not amazing. At the first time we got at least three. Wow! If three was the bar was the bar you were setting, that's really pathetic. Okay, something to send to the full version. Okay. 
I wonder if you do get a prize for a perfect run. Okay, you lose all. Oh, goodbye, Rock Ruffs. Okay, so... That's the Pokemon Catching Challenge done. Is there anything else we can do on the second... Uh, the second day of the demo? Wait, 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 what happens if we... Go back to the cave? And in the interest of getting there faster, I will summon... Taurus the Destroyer! Has come to destroy you all! Taurus the Destroyer, not like wild Pokemon suddenly appearing! Did we get fully healed after this? We did, okay. How dare you stand in the way of Taurus the Destroyer, you shall pay. You shall be shurikened in the face. And your ancestors will forever know that you stood in the way of Taurus the Destroyer and paid the price. His mighty hillbilly music. Ah! Hi, my champs. Naturally, you're blocking the cave. So, yeah, no going back in there. You know, I just think I, I think I just realized the reason why they have my champs all over the island. So that Taurus the Destroyer can't just destroy everything. Oh, okay, Rockruffs can show up here, too. We can't actually catch one of these to keep, though, unfortunately. We have literally nothing in our bag. And... You know, I just suddenly had an idea for a nickname for a uh, rock rush if I did catch one in the final version. So let's go back to the city. Even though I don't know if there's much point really anyway, I think we've seen everything we can see here. It's kind of interesting, they say shopping district, so maybe this, there's more to the city than just this. Anything new people are saying in here? That's all you're saying. I wonder if there's any... Okay, everyone's still saying the same things in here. Is there any area past here? I don't think there is. Yeah, that leads just down to the port. And it looks like... Okay, there is another exit to this. So this is kind of like a shortcut across the city. That's the tourist bureau. Anything past here? Oh right, we have the slowpoke blockade. How dare you stand in the way of Taurus the Destroyer? One day you will pay. You will all pay. But anyway, I don't think we can do more here. So I think for now, that'll be me signing off from the demo, I guess. It's, it's actually been pretty fun. I'm, I'm liking this. It de definitely feels like these games are going to have a personality of their own, really. Like, there's, there's, like, it feels like most of the same kind of stuff that I'm familiar with, but... But just the region its own personality, like, just the general graphics and the style of the trainers, it does, it all does feel very new. And I like how there has been a definite focus on new Pokémon so far, which is good, because... X and Y almost felt like they were hiding the new Pokemon, like they were ashamed of them or something. But anyway, we can still 
finish off by standing in the middle of the Pokeball symbol in the Pokemon Center. I always like doing that. But anyway, uh, currently signing off, I might look up some information to see if there's anything else in the demo that I haven't done yet, but if not, this might be the last video I do on this demo. So, um, hope you enjoy this, and see you for whatever I upload next.